question is from D. Prinvale. What are the differences between a beginner, intermediate, or advanced lifter? Now, th- at first glance, this question seems pretty simple. But the more I think about it, the more I realize it's that hard. that's hard to answer. It is right. Like I would say, a beginner is is somebody who is learning how to move properly and learning how to uh, you know do the right exercises for their body properly. Intermediate is somebody that knows those things. They know how to do the squats and the deadlifts and the, the presses and the rows. They've got good form. They know what the exercises do for the body. I think most people stay in intermediate for a long time. I think intermediate I was, is a long phase. I was just going to say, I, I feel like I could answer this really well for beginner and advanced I have a hard time putting in uh, putting together the category that would fit all the intermediate people. And what I mean by that is, a beginner to me is somebody who is it's uh, they're very green to the gym. Most exercises are very foreign. Uh, most of their mechanics are are poor, and so they're 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 still learning the technique and what is it for. That's kind of like your beginner, and then somebody who's on the advanced to me is is somebody who can intuitively lift. They're yes. be, they are. They understand form. They understand exercise. They understand programming. They know what their body needs to get to whatever goals they have. I think it just amounts to consistency. Like, you know, like if you're an advanced lifter, you've put, you've gotten past the point of like having those waves of momentum where it's like, I'm on, I'm off, I'm on, I'm off. Like, you know, you know what to do in the gym for the most part if you're, you know, intermediate. Like, you know, the mechanics, you know, how to kind of structure your workouts. But maybe you haven't fine tuned it, you know, to the to the degree, and maybe that's just because of the consistency, the frequency that you've been, you know, uh, applying these techniques, and you haven't really been succumbed by like, well, I don't feel like, you know, going for a few weeks to months, and then you come back, and it's like this 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 on and off kind no, of thing. I, I think I think advanced takes a long time to get to. I really do. I think it's. Advanced lifters. Well, it's probably like every, anything else that we it, talk about being a master yeah, at, right? Exactly. Ten thousand hours. Yeah, an advanced yeah. lifter is somebody who can go by feel. So it's like you know, it's like like a black belt in a martial art. Like you you know when a movement is working for you, when it's not. You know when you need to apply more intensity or less. You know how frequency affects your body. Um, you are uh, in the unconscious competent stage where. You don't, it's like walking or breathing. Like, I don't need to think about walking or breathing. It just happens. I take one step after the other and I can talk to other people and think about other things and it's normal. And it, that's what advanced lifting is all about. And advanced lifting, if that's the definition, it takes a long time. That's why I think most people are intermediate. Like, in the yeah. past, I would have said, oh, you know, after about three years of consistent lifting, you're advanced. I, I think I changed that now. I think you could lift consistently and it might take you longer. It might take more like five years or six years before you really get to that that place of really understanding how your body feels, uh, I, I imagine it. I I really like the ten thousand hour rule, and 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 it applies to most other things. I don't know why it wouldn't apply very well to this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I felt like it's it took me ten thousand hours to get good at being a personal trainer. I think it for sure took me ten thousand hours of training myself and others before I it became intuitive for me. Isn't that funny too? Sure. Because if you if I went and asked, you know. Justin, Adam, or Sal, uh, five years into personal training. Do you think you're a yeah a master personal trainer? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm an I'm, I'm awesome. Now looking back, I was far from master at five years. It right, took yeah. me more like ten. I would say it took ten years before I, I felt I, like I, I was. I, like, I like what you said. I think I think most people in in their first year or so um, fall in the beginner category at least, like for the, at least the first year. And and then after that, once you you know get pretty good form down and understand the exercises that you're doing, you probably move into the beginning stages of intermediate, and then you're probably in intermediate for most of your lifting career until you've put that many hours under your belt. And just what comes with that experience uh, is a lot of things that you learn along the way, and you probably are in that intermediate phase thinking you're advanced, a lot like what if you would have asked me five years into personal training and seven years into training myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know it. I know what I, everything I need to, but I, shit, looking back now, I go like, yeah. I, most of what I think I've learned came from years 10 and beyond. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, it's... Well, uh, then, sure, but then what about those those people at the gym that have been there for like 20 years doing the same routine? You're stuck at intermediate. Yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. Stuck, you're stuck at intermediate. That's yeah, a but great... It, it's not the hours. 
You know, it's the education. It's the right it. hours. Yeah. It's, yeah. What do they say? Perfect practice makes perfect, not just practice. You know, yeah. I think that's a great point. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that if you've been lifting for four years because you're not advanced, that doesn't mean you can't do an advanced programmed workout. Right. Because then there's recovery ability. There's your body's ability to adapt. Now, that's totally different. Totally, totally different. If you've been training consistently hard for two years, three years, you could follow an advanced workout. The uh, problem so, is you so can't write of an advanced workout. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, you can yeah. follow one. Yeah. You, yeah. If, if, you, if you bought an advanced workout program and you've been lifting consistently for two or three years and you've got good and you're healthy, otherwise, that's probably going to be okay for you. You're just not going to be able to create one for yourself. That's you're definitely good, not going to be able to create one for other that's people. That's a good point because it, yeah. within be, beginner, intermediate, advanced, there's different subcategories of what we're talking about. Right. right? Yeah. And, and if you're just talking about – uh, like the, your body's ability. Yeah, your body's ability to train advanced lifts or to train an advanced program. If you've been lifting consistently for a year or two, you absolutely can train a... Uh, I mean, it's like the powerlifting program we have right now. Like, I wouldn't recommend it to a, a beginner green first month in the gym. No. I would tell them to run yeah, like no. a MAPS anabolic and go through the three, the, the three core ones that we originally created first. That's almost a year's worth of training. Then you would be, I think, in a great place to, to do something, move into that. But uh, yeah, I think the beginner, uh, intermediate, advanced really depends on what we're talking about.